Okay, whenever you're calling. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Irene McCormick, but I have a previous uh, career as a TV producer and director of many, for many years. So I'm here to give you a few uh, little tips on how to make the best video. Now the first thing you do before you make your video is that you must do some planning. So I even mean on a little notebook, write down the shots that you would like to get. That's going to save you a lot of time and stop you filming and shooting things that you don't need and loads of time spent scrolling through material. Okay, so that's efficient. Now the next thing we want to do is that you should include these things called establishers. If I'm doing something about the library, I need to get an exterior of this building showing it's Carlo, Ireland, this institution. I and also need a shot of at least five seconds, preferably 10 seconds, of the entrance to the library and all those people going in and out of the library. If I'm shooting an experiment in one of your rooms, why not show the exterior of the room and have somebody walking into the, into the lab? That'll set up the scene for where this is taking place because people are always very curious about that. Yeah, cool. And here we have a classic example of that, somebody going into a lab and the shot ends on the door of the lab. Another thing you should do is shoot everything twice. If you're shooting an experiment, you should get the people to do the experiment as a wide shot and then you get the people to do the experiment as a tight shot and you're able to cut between those very seamlessly. Anything to do with audio, because they're being shot on phones, has to be done very close. So you see how close that Damien is to me. We don't want to see it, but it's very good for audio. If you're moving back here, your audio is going to cause a problem for you, so you don't want to do that. The best way to shoot is landscape, okay? So you're going to get nicer shots and you're not going to get those bars down the side, which can sometimes cause a problem. So shooting landscape and shooting in the one way all the time. If you do accidentally shoot a portrait with the two bars there, keep shooting portrait. Don't change halfway through. There's another thing called general views, which are shots that you can be used anywhere. If I was in the library and I was telling the story of how to take out a book, I would get lots of extra shots of students just working in the library that I could slot them over any of the edits that I do. Equally, if you are doing an experiment, you could shoot some people in the background or some things that are on the wall or um, uh, some material that's here, there and everywhere so that you could cover some of your edits. And that's really, really important. So um, I think uh, there's some tips that you could work with to start off and uh, Damien Raftery has also put a lot of material onto the website that you can use and it's worth having a look through that before you make any attempt.